Okay, I'll admit it. I'm one of those warning label, rules-dependent, safety-loving parents. And while I don't believe that's a bad thing, I do believe there's a certain sadness to it. Not sure what I mean? Allow me to give you a glimpse into my childhood. Brent, Scott, and I rode our bikes around the entire neighborhood. We could get as far as two miles from our house, and it was okay, as long as we were home before dark. And we never had to wear helmets. The neighborhood was our galaxy, and we were Han, Luke, and Leia. The playground fort transformed into the Millennium Falcon, complete with a malfunctioning hyperdrive. Our bikes were either speeder bikes, which we deftly maneuvered through the forest moon of Endor, or tauntauns carrying us around the frozen tundra of Hoth. We spent almost every afternoon combating armies of stormtroopers and searching for Darth Vader. In the summer, the neighborhood pool provided a much needed break from saving the galaxy. No parents or SPF required. Because we knew the lifeguards, we were trusted to swim and bake as much as we wanted. We passed the time playing Marco Polo, seeing who could stay underwater the longest, and trying to make the largest splash by cannonballing off the high dive. Sometimes we'd have to do battle at the pool, but that was rare. Nothing could harm us, not the Emperor, not Vader, or any other force of evil that existed. No websites to tell us that three registered sex offenders lived within that two mile section of our galaxy. No reports about head injuries, at least none that we knew of. No warnings of skin cancer posted on every bottle of suntan lotion to make us feel irresponsible when we failed to slather it on every two hours, if we used any at all. We were members of the Rebellion. We were invincible. Or were we blissfully ignorant? When my kids ride their bikes, I make sure they wear protective gear and stay where I can see them. When they swim, I make sure they consistently reapply the SPF 50 and go into the pool only when a trusted adult is nearby. And they never go to a playground without me. I do these things because I believe that is what a responsible parent does. But when I think back on the freedom of my childhood, I wonder how my children will remember their own. Am I being too overprotective and not letting them enjoy the freedom that should, to some degree, accompany these wonderful years of their lives? Will they think of their childhood with the same fondness that I have when I think of mine? I want them to embrace the wonders of childhood, but I can't give them the same freedom that I had, not knowing what I know now. I believe they will. The force is strong with them.